Okay, I want to show you what I have prepared so far for this particular little book. And I have decided on my tie closure method is going to meet right here because I don't want anything on my front or back covers because I have not finished designing them yet. So one end of the ribbon is here on the front. Of course, it'll be covered, you know, with the layering. And then the other end is here in this side of the spine. And then it will be covered with the layering that will go there. This is my front section. And I'll show you that in just a minute. And then, of course, just the, the pages that will be in the back. The inside back cover is going to have a reverse waterfall. That's as far as I've gotten. So what I decided to do for this, I wanted to do a di little different play on the file folder look. And nothing I had was big enough, so I used my envelope punch board and made my own file folders. So I've got the file folder front, and then on the back is going to be a pocket for recipe cards that I will make from index cards. These are the four by six. I cut them down to about three and three quarter by six so they'll fit perfect in the pocket, easy to get in and out. And then this side there'll be a clippy here for sticking the recipe that you might want to use that day, that sort of thing. So there's going to be two large pockets. Then I made two little small file folder cards or pages and there will be little pockets on the back side of those. So I will show you what I did to create the little file folder. Cut the pages to the same size as the other pages in the book. Four and one eighth inches wide, the six and three quarter inch minus a sixteenth of an inch. Then all I did was put it in the punch board and I didn't do any measuring. I just did this and liked the way it looked. And I said, yep, that's it. So made my two punches from here to here. You cut that off even with your paper cutter. And then I just went back and rounded that corner. Then same thing as with the other page or pages in the book. You put it in your scoring tool and score at four inches so you have that one eighth of an inch spine section that you will then glue into the book just like the other pages went in and I'll show it one more time so there's my quarter inch hinged page, or eighth of an inch rather. I have quarter inch on the brain because I've been doing some other measuring. And the eighth of an inch there, and then the eighth of an inch on these two, and then all of the little pockets I just made to fit each of the file folders. So just another option for a way to do, you know, more interactive pages. And, because I cannot do any new project without turning at least one into a recipe book, I am going to use pages from this book called the Painted Garden Cookbook, because some of the pages in here are just gorgeous. They're illustrated watercolor pages. Of course, it has recipes in it, but I'm going to be using these Instead of store-bought background paper, I'm going to be cutting this book up and using this. So, that's what's going to happen with this once I get more done to it.